Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to today's webinar, Getting Started, Getting Connected. This webinar is brought to you by Live Lab Learning, which is a subsidiary of Academic Corp, a wholly owned applied software company created to provide world-class training. My name is Kimberly Joles, and I'm delighted to be here today. Throughout our presentation, we encourage you to interact with us by typing in questions and comments using the questions pane. I will be getting back to each of you who ask questions after the webinar. This webinar is being recorded and will be available to you online on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please search Live Lab Learning on Facebook and like our page to receive the latest information and special offers. When you visit our website, livelablearning.com, there's a complete schedule of upcoming training. Here are some of our upcoming events. We have an event in Jacksonville, Florida on June 16th and Savannah, Georgia on June 17th, which is the first look for the new Autodesk 2016 release. We also have a few of our upcoming webinars here. On May 28th, we have a Design Technology in Higher Education. June 23rd, a webinar on maintenance subscription and desktop and Autodesk accounts. And then on the July 21st, we also have one on education. All right, getting started with our current webcast. Applied Software was founded in 1982, and we have divided ourselves into three technology groups, architecture and engineering, manufacturing, and construction. We feel that this is a way to help you get the most out of, your, out of the software that you're using and to help you get through the projects that you have. We have teams to assist you throughout the Southeast. Each team is, consists of an outside sales rep, an inside sales rep, and a sales support person who are here to help you. My job is I handle subscriptions for most customers. Our technical teams are also divided into these three groups. Both teams have many, many years of Autodesk experience or experience in the field in which they are here for. Technical support. Sometimes you're going to need technical support. You can call us at our 800 number, which is provided, 800-969-6753. However, the best way is to email support at asti.com. The information on the screen is in the perfect world what our techs would like to get from you so they can best direct your call and get to get the best technician available to help you. Many times your signature file will include this information, but just in case, they'd like to know your company name, the contact person and the f name and a phone number, the email, if it's different than the email address that's been sent to, the product. Oftentimes they'll get a call saying, I need help with my Autodesk. Well, that doesn't help them know what software you have, what version, what release, service pack, if that's applicable. Sometimes they'll need the serial number the operating system, and a brief description of the problem, sending screenshots if at all possible. This way they'll be able to assist you. Sometimes as well, some of the problems may involve something like a data set or the file itself. That may be something that they may require. However, if it is a big file, uh, send in your initial request and they will ask to have the file sent over in a different way. Otherwise, it will clog up everybody's email address. In a normal situation, our techs do strive to get back to you within four business hours, but that is subject to change, people on vacation, a lot of call volume, things like that. Common technical support issues include 30-day installation help, as well as assistance with fatal errors. We do not view our technical support as a venue for training, but we do have several options for training. If you visit us at livelablearning.com, that has all of our normally scheduled training classes. Various software is available. We also have coaching classes, which coaching classes are where you 
the customer sit down with one of our technicians for a one-on-one -on -one session. We would schedule a mutually convenient time. You two would sit down and go over your questions. Many times this is project specific and our technicians would sit and help you get through the issues that you're having with that project. These are typically scheduled in one hour increments. We also have block time which can be used for similar types of training or issues. We also have what we call a business process assessment or a BPA, where based on your industry, we bring in a team of technical personnel, either from applied software or Autodesk or both if needed, to spend a half a day, perhaps a day, learning about your business and your current processes. After we finish that assessment, a written report is provided that makes recommendations to overcome any challenges or workflow process bottlenecks that you may be having. If this is something that interests you, please contact your salesperson for more information. While we here at Auto De or at Applied are here to help you with everything that we can, there are times when you're going to have to reach out to Autodesk. The most common reason to reach out to Autodesk is for activation or registration information. Applied software cannot generate these codes for you, unfortunately, as that information comes directly from Autodesk. The phone number on the screen, 866-681-4359, is the best way to reach them. You'll follow the prompts and get through the information they're going to ask for your name, your company name, serial number, things like that. Once they confirm that you are you, they will happily give you the activation registration information. Autodesk now has moved over to a new subscription web page called Autodesk Accounts. Anybody familiar with the old subscription center knows that it was clunky and very outdated. The new website is Autodesk Accounts for Autodesk accounts is www.accounts with an S at the end .autodesk.com. This is a much more user friendly web page, and while it still has its issues, as soon as the Autodesk finds out the issues, they are working very hard to resolve them. They do have as well, of course, a forget your login, forget your password. So if you, either of these apply, click the appropriate buttons and they will get you the information you need. Also, for many of our customers who say, I'm not getting the Autodesk emails, please make sure that your IT group has whitelisted Autodesk.com. A lot of times the web, the emails are getting caught by your spam filters. For the past several years, Autodesk has downloaded, gone to a download only method for their software. You can, however, still request the physical media. The tiny URL link, tinyurl.com slash Autodesk Media is a shortcut that you can go to, which will get, take you right to the website to request your physical media. It'll either be on a DVD or a thumb drive, depending on which software you have. Please note, however, that Autodesk does charge $30 per media. If you wish to download your software, the next link, tinyurl.com slash Autodesk Download, will take you to several options to download your software. You can download now, install now, or do a browser download. If you're active on subscription, you can use up to three versions back from your previous version. In other words, you're entitled to use the current version, which is 2016, and versions 2015, 14, and 13. Autodesk will occasionally grant an exception to run an older version from 2013, but that requires forms that are filled out, which we submit onto Autodesk, and it's, there's an approval process, which can take up to six to eight weeks, and there is no guarantee that they will approve that. If you wish to get information on previous versions, the next link, tinyurl.com slash Autodesk Previous, is the link that you would follow. Another benefit of being on subscription is that you can use what Autodesk calls a home use license. For example, you have a desktop that you use at the office, but you need to do some work at, from home at night or on the weekends. 
You would simply install the software on a company-owned computer, whether it's a desktop or laptop, and use it at home, at a customer site, remotely, wherever you need to use that software. As you're the same user using the software on both machines, Autodesk is okay with that. For more information on home use, put the final link on that page, tinyurl.com slash ADSK home use is a link that you would follow. There may come a time when your company buys out another company or you're bought out by another company or some situation like that where you need to transfer your seats of Autodesk software from one company to another. Autodesk takes their licensing very, very seriously, so there's a form that we have that we'll ask you to fill out and have signed by the appropriate parties. We can submit that form to Autodesk for you to make sure that the process goes smoothly and that, that it's taken care of correctly. Autodesk has promised that they are going to have a web form to do this, but as of this recording, that form is not yet available. Autodesk, as I said, takes their licensing very seriously. There may come a time when your company moves, people move on, and we need to change your address, the contract manager, software coordinator, something like that. Currently, the best way to do that is to contact us with the corrections Autodesk does love their forms, so we do have a form for you to sign and return to us, and we'll get them to update that information in their records. After any transaction with Autodesk, whether it be an activation or registration, a purchase, a renewal of your software, anything like that, you may be contacted by Autodesk and asked to do a customer satisfaction survey. The questions on the survey are asking about your interactions with applied software, although I will confess that they do seem to be ambiguous and sometimes you may think that they're asking about interactions with Autodesk. In fact, it is how your interaction, how your transaction with applied software was, and we would greatly appreciate it if you could give us all 10. Autodesk looks at each of these surveys and we do appreciate that. If there is any reason why you cannot give us a 10, please contact us and we'll do what we can to remedy the situation. Cloud credits. Cloud credits are something that if hopefully everybody is using, this is something that's part of your Autodesk subscription. It's a unit of measurement that allows you to do rendering, different types of analysis, and some simulations. Cloud credits can be purchased only by people on active subscription and do not come automatically with your subscription. When a new user is added to your subscription account, Autodesk gives that person a one-time gift of 100 starter cloud credits for free, but these cannot be shared or transferred. These used to be called individual cloud credits for anybody who may remember that phrasing from probably about a year and a year and a half ago or so. These 100 free starter cloud credits are not reissued once they've been used and you cannot purchase them. However, the contract manager or software coordinator of your subscription contract can purchase cloud credits through applied software or directly through your Autodesk account for $100 for 100 cloud credits. The cloud credits expire one year after the date of purchase or if the contract expires, whichever comes first. Cloud credits may only exist on an active subscription contract. Cloud credits are not reactivated if a subscription contract is renewed after the expiration date. If the subscription contract manager or software coordinator purchases cloud credits, these cloud credits cannot be allocated down to the user level but are shared amongst all the users that are active on that subscription contract. However, the contract manager may turn on or off access to cloud credits for named users. The, cloud, the contract manager can see how many cloud credits are available, as well as the individual user usage by going to the Autodesk account and reviewing the usage report. Each cloud credit, it has a value of one different things that you do will have different values depending on what it is that you're doing. The more complex the service, the higher the cloud credit usage. For example, to re render an Autodesk 360 uses approximately one cloud credit per megapixel. To do a structural analysis for Revit uses two credits. 
Profile optimization for InfoWorks 360 uses 100 per 5 kilometers of road. This is just a brief overview of the cloud credits. If you go to that tiny URL, tinyurl.com slash adskcloud, that will give you a much more detailed information about this. Here is my contact information. I, am, I will give you a hint. I am often on the phone, so the best way to reach me is through by email. My direct phone number, however, is 954-233-0184. And my email address is kjolls at asti.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the GoToMeeting question box or email me. You can also email us at sales at asti.com or give us a call directly at our 800 number, which is 800-899-2784. Please also make sure that you visit us at livelablearning.com to see our upcoming training classes and other seven seminars and webinars. Also, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see any past webinars that we have up there as well, and you can do that by going to YouTube and search for Live Lab Learning. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you found this webinar informative and a help to you. We look forward to hearing you and seeing you again at our next webinar. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.